Greetings and welcome back to another Metal Gear Solid 5 FOB video event guide. Apologies for not covering last event, it was just incredibly busy for me and I wasn't able to find the time to do it, but we're going to go ahead and get this one done and taken care of. And without further ado, let's get right into it. The event for the next two weeks is the Bound Dragons FOB, and that's going to be ending on the 18th of March. The mission tasks for hard mode are as follows. Neutralize 6 security guards. Fulton 6 security guards. Neutralize 12 security guards total. Shoot the weak point of a UAV at a range of 90 meters or more. Infiltrate successfully. Infiltrate with no kills and no alerts. Infiltrate as a staff member with a rank bonus of 1.01 or higher. And infiltrate within 480 seconds or 8 minutes. The weapons that we're going to be using are pretty standard today. We're going to start with the Grade 1 Rindruger Silent Pistol. I know what you're thinking, and yeah, it probably won't be used. But we're going to go ahead and put an extended magazine on there, and we're also going to attach a Grade 3 Suppressor. I'm also going to go ahead and make it match my camo, as usual. You don't need to do this. We're just going to use this on the off chance we have to shoot a wall or shoot the ground next to a guard, get him to turn around or something like that. But odds are we're probably not going to use it. What we will definitely be using is the Grade 7 S1000 Air Shotgun. We're going to go ahead and keep the stock on there and the muzzle, but we're going to go ahead and attach a Grade 2 Suppressor. Also, go ahead and attach a dot side of your choice. I think the one that it comes with stock is just fine. Go ahead and keep the flashlight on there. We're also going to go ahead and attach a laser sight. And again, I'm going to make it match my camo. As always, you don't need to do this. And last but not least, we're also going to bring the Grade 5 Bambi Top SV Sniper Rifle. We're going to go ahead and attach the improved barrel, or the best barrel you have available to you. We're going to attach the 75 rounder drum magazine. The stock is just fine. The muzzle's just fine. But we're also going to go ahead and attach a nice grade 3 suppressor to that. And as usual, we're going to attach my favorite, the RF scope 2 8 times zoom. We're also going to attach a flashlight to that. And we're going to go ahead and keep the laser sight on there. And we're going to keep the foregrip on there as well for a little more stability. We're also going to go ahead and make that match our camo one last time. You do not need to do this. Today we're going to be infiltrating the base development platform. We're going to go ahead and drop in at the default location. We're going to equip that Grade 7 Air Shotgun that we customized. We're also going to equip the Grade 5 Bambi Top SV. We're also going to equip that uh, Grade 1 Wind Ruger Silent Pistol, although as I said, I doubt we're going to be using it. We're also going to bring along magazines, those are going to see some use. Grade 4 Smoke Grenades and Grade 5 Sleep Grenades. We're also going to bring along Grade 5 Noctocyanin and our trusty night vision goggles. We might be getting a little bit of use out of them, not sure yet. And we're also going to bring our weakest, cheapest wormhole Fultons to get those quick Fultons in. As usual, it's very important to make sure we're going as a staff member with a rank bonus of 1.01 or higher. So no snake, no custom character, but Flaming Buffalo will work just well. We're also going to bring a uniform with metal or concrete services in the description. And as usual, drop in at night. Successfully sneak your way into the heart of the rival PF's FOB, and you can capture staff from them. I'll be looking forward to meeting the new recruits, boss.
From the start, go ahead and run, run, run up the double set of stairs. We're going to hit the deck a little bit earlier than normal, but that's because we're slower on a custom character. Or, on a staff member, I should say. Slower than the custom character, and uh, slower than Snake. I'm going to pop up here to a crouch walk, just because they don't seem to be looking my way. Uh, if they do happen to spot you, immediately hit the deck and sort of roll your way away from them so they can't see you. And uh, it's at this point I'd say we're having some pretty good luck this run, but... Well, you'll see. So, uh, I'm having the idea here that I'm going to be going over to the left side instead of the right, because I've been having some pretty bad luck on the right, and uh, immediately that guy spots me. And there's nothing we can do. We're not going to be able to get away. He's going to be over here in just a second. So might as well take out the shotgun and get ready to take him down. And I think I'm going to be able to slip by real quick, but that guy ends up seeing me take the dive, and this is going to start kind of a chain reaction here. Remember what I said about that shotgun getting a workout? Well, go ahead and uh, fault him. At least it wasn't, you know, wasn't all for nothing. We're going to go ahead and fault him too, and oh, look at that. One of his buddies is also right on time. So go ahead, give him the double tap. And look at that, another friend. As you can tell, everybody and their mother's brother has basically arrived to see what's going on here. Thank goodness for reflex mode, though, am I right? So we're going to go ahead and scoop these guys up. I mean, we might as well. We've got no reason not to. I'm just not certain if we're going to have to take that guy down or not. We might, but I think he's sort of bugged out and going in the opposite direction. So, fingers crossed, and we'll be fine. Alright, looks like we're good to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some scouting here, get these uh, UAVs marked. Because, oh man, do these last two platforms have loads and loads of UAVs. Let's also see if we can take one down while we're at it. There we go. That even got us the mission task. Let's go ahead and take this one down. And looks like we got another one over there. Might have to compensate for your shots a little bit just because of the extreme range, but it's doable. Let's go ahead and light that one up. I think we might have one or two more, not certain. Let's see if we can get these guys looking away from us. Uh, they're definitely turning up the heat, and uh, I think the guys on the previous platform are catching up to us. I think we're going to be able to sneak right past this guy. Alright, good for us. And oh boy, out of nowhere, three spots. Let's go ahead and uh, take these guys out here with a smoke grenade. Just to distract them. Oh boy, and we got another one. Again, that's why we got the shotgun. Uh, I don't know if he's going to come over here or not. Let's take another Nocto just to keep track of everybody. I don't want him to be a problem, so we're going to go ahead and take him out. Oh wow, this place is getting pretty popular all of a sudden. Let's drop some sleep grenades. Oh boy, here we go again. Let's go ahead and do another Fulton. Oh wow, that sleep grenade has got quite some range on it. I always forget about how powerful these ones are. So wait for that to dissipate. Get another Fulton in. And now with everybody kind of paying attention to that area over there, we're sort of free to begin our final uh, final assault, so to speak. We're going to go ahead and pick off that UAV just because we don't want him sitting around. Oh boy. 
Uh, they're already on to me. Let's go ahead and get a smoke there. And we still got a good healthy amount of shotgun. What are you doing over here? What are you doing? Take him down. Switch to the sleep grenades and let's try to aim for these clusters. That was pretty good. Got at least two of them. Just kind of lob them wherever you see, guys. You don't have to hit multiples, but, I mean, it helps. It's not bad. We've got basically everything done, too. That's, uh, that's the good news. Let's just do one more up there, because they like to kind of frequent that, st uh, that staircase. And uh, now we're just kind of kind of stroll up to the top. We've got more or less enough people taken out. We just got to focus on getting to the uh, end without being seen, and that should be very, very easily doable. And even though we already did, I'm going to go ahead and give the mission tasks one more check. And all that's left to do is walk right out the door. So that's Bound Dragons in hard mode difficulty. As you can see, it's still as big of a pain as ever. Thanks for watching the video. Please do leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Those are always appreciated. Any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section. And until next time, have a good one.